The act of set. Making out is the best part of Christmas. Now, they did this about two and a half years ago, and it was kind of funny because this is pretty much when we first started the show, and I made a call out saying, you know what, can we do some Christmas songs? And they said, you know what, actually, we have one, and that was it, and it's such a great tune. A lot of fun, very poppy, like great tune. Yeah, it's a really well-written tune. I, I like the vocals on it a lot, and a good arrangement. Um, very catchy. It was a good tune. It was indeed. Uh, some of the things that I liked about it were uh, there were some really kind of quirky guitar counter melodies that kind of took some unexpected turns. That So it wasn't just your standard pop tune. It had uh, some, just some twist to it that I really liked. Absolutely. So next up, we're going to get to another new one by Dirty Steve. This one's called Don't Believe in Heroes. Dig this. Dirty Steve with Don't Believe in Heroes. Now, we've heard a few songs by them over the past few weeks, and they seem to take a good command on just, just different types of music and kind of switch up all the time. And this one was a lot more grunge, a lot more aggressive, like kind of hard rock, but a really good tune. And I love the way they, they, they pretty much they, they take apart the song and they, they reconstruct it as something different each time. Yeah, that tune has great energy to it. I like the vocals. Uh, pretty cool guitar tone he's using there. Uh, it's a well-written song. Yeah, it sure was. And like Nolan said, I really love the energy all the way through it. And vocally, honestly, I kind of got an Elvis vibe off of the vocals. Oh, fair enough, right on. <laughs> yeah, but really cool tune. Nicely done. Well, next up is a band called Ilias, uh, which I learned about from courtesy of Bodhi Jar, another local London, Ontario band. And the song is called Seven. Dig this. This is 
my final mistake. Alias with seven local to London, Ontario, and that was a great tune. Uh, I was very impressed when I first heard these guys. Like very, very controlled and powerful vocals. Love this tune. Yeah, there was a very high level of musicianship going on in there. That drummer was really kicking it. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a good tune, good vocals. I liked it. Yeah, it was an interesting opening because they kind of decided to forgo the traditional introduction and just start with almost a acapella vocal, which is a risky move uh, and takes a lot of confidence, but man, he's got the he's got the pipes to back that up, and so it really set the tone for the rest of the song. It was great. All right on. So we have one more clip to go here for part two, and then we'll get going to part three in a few minutes. So this one's from South Park, and this is Jimmy singing, uh, well, just take this. It's pretty funny. <laughs> The, the fun, like the tree. I was wondering if I could sing my favorite 
Christmas song real quick. Oh, well, we'd love a Christmas song, wouldn't we, folks? Christmas song! Christmas song! Christmas right, song! Here it goes. On the first day of Christmas, my true, true love gave, gave to me a pair, a pair, pair, and a partridge in a pear tree on the third day of Christmas and a patriarch in a patri on the fourth day of Christmas my children gave to me on the this day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> so, <laughs> that, that was South Park Christmas. So, that's going to do it for part two. We'll be back right back for part three in a few minutes. Until then, Bonezell will be right back. <laughs>